So we're here at Chad's Field Day, and we're looking at some of these plots. And the first thing I noticed, why why is this corn small on you know down there close to the end? So Chad, Chad immediately told me exactly why. What corn? I don't see it? any. I don't see any small corn. Well, look up the road, Jack. Look up. Yeah, it just takes off. It just it just gets a little more. You know, it's just like it's growing up. It's just like a kid. But right? I, but That's now tell it. me, this is smaller. That's bigger. It's lapped up there, not lapped here. Tell them why. This is Matt Miles' corn on the end, and this is Chad's corn out there. No, so what Matt's talking about is compaction. What we did here is this field strip tilled. And when we strip tilled it, we strip tilled it, and, and we did it in the fall. I wasn't really sure where the field day was going to be, where the test plot's going to be. I just done what I normally do. Actually, Lee did. Lee done what he normally does. Strip tilled it, come in here, and strip tilled the ends, you know, just like you plant in rows. Well, then we come up and said, hey, I'm going to put the field day there. So I planted across the strip. And when you plant across it, the ground was that much harder, so that's the compaction. Whether the yield will be there or not, whether it took off from yield, or whether it just took off from vegetation is yet to be seen. Yeah, nutrients look the same, but the color looks the same, color but it's just same, shorter. But you can see the compaction as it goes up and gets out there to where the end rows would be, it, the corn just rises right up. So that's one of the things we talk about with having to get the corn off to a good start. Is it going to hurt me? Is it going to yield? Who knows? We'll see what the season brings. And let's see what the ROI. We have a recorded and off sign. You're going to look at it.